Hello, my name is Maggie. I'm a Canadian. I'm a homeschooling mother of two and naturally a human rights advocate. I was one of 280 protesters who were arrested after the invocation of the Emergency Act in Ottawa and one of two protesters who had an opportunity to speak at the Commission this November. I was honoured to be on the panel with Canadian veteran Chris Deering of New Brunswick. He and his fellow veterans held the line the first day of government aggression, and I held the line on the last. By around 11 o'clock Saturday, February 19th, all the trucks had sadly been overtaken. Only peaceful protesters remained, and thousands of us found our way into the red zone. A quiet stillness rested on the front line of O'Connor. Utter disbelief, no doubt. It was a pivotal moment. It was steeped in symbolism. The police could not justify advancing past this point. My mind went incredibly clear, and it was then that I knew exactly what I needed to do. I laid the Bill of Rights down at their feet along the line. I told the police that if they advanced, they would be trampling our Bill of Rights, our human rights, with their boots, both literally and figuratively. At this point, the OPP line moved back and the riot police moved forward. They thought that they could scare us, but I saw right through them. For those who have read Paul Bunyan, they were like green paper dragons with only an illusion of power that if only withstood, would crumble. Or to par paraphrase from Thoreau's essay on the duty of civil disobedience, they were like an army of men who serve the state primarily with their bodies and not their conscience. Men who commanded no more respect than mere sticks and stones. For we knew that they were conducting unlawful arrests. We knew that no charges had been laid. We knew that they were dropping arrestees outside the city, like raccoons, free to go. We knew that their threats of arrest and charges were empty and baseless and unjustified. And we knew that the Emergency Act had been invoked unlawfully. So myself and three others knelt down in the middle of O'Connor. And as the riot police moved forward, we did not move. In sacrifice, we challenged their empty threats and broke down the illusion of their power. Our bodies were battered, our minds slightly disturbed by the moral injustice that we faced, but our souls rose from that place on a higher ground, our moral compass well intact. As confirmation that we did the right thing, the arresting officer from Ottawa, his first words to me were, the protesters won this today. They proved peaceful until the end and the truth will come out. You see, my friends, all things work together for good to those who do what is right. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And greater is he that is for us than they which are against us. So in conclusion, I wish to embolden you to peaceful resistance. Let us stand and not move. Let us overcome fear by passing through it. Let corruption expose itself. Let it break on your immovable moral compass gentle as lambs, but bold as lions. For we are the light of the North. We are the true North, strong and free. The first line of defense against tyranny in this world. And we are standing on the right side of history. Thank you.